when people ask that question, what is hip hop? Is that hip hop? Is this hip hop? Is he, she, or this? <laughs> hip hop is not just a physical thing. It's not just a physical thing, man. Yeah. It's a feeling. And when you hear this man, I remember when Strictly Business first came out in 1988. When you hear this man, uh, what's the math on that, Tracy? Shit. 1988? Mm, maybe like 36. 36, 36, 36 yeah. years. Uh -huh. 36 years ago. 36 years ago, this man put out his first project. Mm. Oof, Ooh, oh, my gosh. Jeez. I know, right? <laughs> that clip Amen. we just well, Hold up. That clip we just played was recent. The passion he had when that first project came out in 1988 to now has increased. <laughs> Yo. Right. He's hungrier than ever. Not mm. even been consistent. Increased. He does not have to sit here and do this any longer. You heard him with Just Incredible. He's getting a quarter million every month Whoa. for one sample. <laughs> That's just one sample. It's crazy. That is crazy, though. That is crazy. Yeah, is. We ain't talked about the Justin uh, Bieber's and the other people right, who sampled you. Right. Oh, you know, Drake. So somebody caught me on that one too. <laughs> they was trying to hide me from that one. They was trying to slip. Yeah, but it, this, 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 it wasn't like you know how this, 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 that wasn't mines. Mm. So they said it was an interpolation. Yes, exactly. That they redid it. Yeah. It was inspired by yours. Yes, exactly. But was it yours? Yes, it was mine. Did you get paid? Yeah, did they end up, um, who, who was that? Because they usually have to call me, but I'm also with with uh, uh, Kobo. I had Kobo yeah. Publishing. Yes, no yep. doubt. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, and they chased the money. Yes, that Kobo chased, yep. And you yes. got the money. Yep. Eric Sermon, Citizens, Justin Bieber, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Eric Sermon is here. We're talking about new music featuring another icon iconic group, the one and only Salt and Pepper, but more importantly, this is our brother, and when I and when I, I had to call my my brother King Tech and say, guess who's coming to the show this morning? Eric Sermon. Eric, welcome back. You always yeah, yeah. like, I, but you always, no matter what. Like, I, I know people probably don't know though, but this man has been my friend. He gives me the same respect introduction on things that I do. Like this station support me without even me even doing the whole go sit down with the PD and the whole yeah. nine. Y'all just do it anyway. Cause some records I don't look for it to be to be spun, but you do it. Yeah. And I'm like, how is he doing it if Shadow's not here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got D B. You know, so so again, no, no, you remember, yeah, you remember. of course, that's my man I paid. He saved my <laughs> saved my life my one day in the club. What? See my life. DB, one time. let's tell. It's always a good story. <laughs> DB saved Eric Sermon's life. That's the that's the headline. Yeah, 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 no doubt. No, because yeah, yeah. It, it's he actually kind of saved mine, or he did save mine. I shouldn't say kind of because I was struggling hard at that time, and he just wow. so happened to show up at the club, and he was just like, "Yo, you know, I, uh, can I DJ? Cause I can't rap, cause my voice is messed up." And sure enough, at the end of the night, he was like, "Yo, he hit me off," and he was just like, "Thank you, man." And I was like, "Nobody is ever gonna believe this happened." But <laughs> Every time I see him, it's just like I just gotta remind him because it's yeah, just we like, tell the it's, same story. I don't care. No, I'll no, tell no, it. No, there's there's new listeners. Yeah. No, no, tell dope. it again. Again, because I yeah. I didn't want to. That was happening with the voice. Then I I didn't want to not do something. Uh huh. Because the guy already gave the money sway oh, the whole yeah, night, so I didn't want to be. And these these were some some new Puerto Ricans I never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> new Puerto Rican, a new breed. <laughs> you got yeah. it. You got what? It. <laughs> you a different kind of Puerto Rican, huh? I grew up around yeah. in Brentwood. These guys didn't look like the ones I, I talked to. They like more Colombian mixed. <laughs> what you mean you ain't gonna rap? So I'm like, yo, listen, man, just, just set this up for me, and I give you. So I gave him what I had in my pocket and gave it to him. Like, listen, just, just stay here, and just let me put some records on. Let me, whatever. And that's what happened that night. Saved my the night. He was happy. The promoter was cool, you know? Did you, in that moment, though, was there a moment of fear? You know, like, what am I going to do? Not right. For, yeah. Because I didn't, I knew how to cut and everything, but I didn't know the system. So uh -huh. I don't know how to go from this one to that one. Yeah, so and, I, and you're playing on somebody else's laptop. My right. library yeah. isn't. Right. I read the whole nine. Yeah. So, so DB so. saved Eric's sermon. Okay, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that idea because I, I was thinking about um, your career, and but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay in the current, but I never asked you this because I remember when the EP and D... Um, start going their separate ways. That uh -huh. was after the business never personal project, right? Am I, am I mistaken? Um, yes, the last, yep, the, the fourth. La yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep, okay, that was after the, and then you came back with no pressure. Mm -hmm. Your solo project. Yes. I I remember back then, there were a few moments that King, we're here today, but there were a few moments that challenged my faith 
right. and wondering, is this it? Mm. Will it end today? Especially because the rap game was so tumultuous back then. There was no stability. Right. Right. You you know, it, it really it, you could get dropped any moment. Mm hmm. Where were you in between business never personal and no pressure? Personally, this will be your first project without Paris Smith. Right. I, I just, check this out. Of course, the, the money come into play because now I don't have nothing. Yeah. Mm. You know, so so I, I'm out there, you know, um, but I had a $1,000 and I had an American Express card. You know? <laughs> so I knew I took that to Georgia because I went to Georgia before, mm -hmm. and I met the guys with the rim shop, we were mm -hmm. breaking them. So I'm like, when it happened, after I, when I I got arrested and when I got out, I said, Mom, I'm going to go to Georgia. So when I went to Georgia, it was a short period of time before that phone rung, mm -hmm. and it was Puffy. Mm. And okay. who's the man soundtrack? Yeah, yeah. So that, so that was seventy five hundred dollars. So, so 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 now I'm, I'm up a little okay. bit. Right. <laughs> Seventy five hundred, you know, baby. So, yeah. so so now I'm up. So then after that phone call came in, um, Russell called. Mm -hmm. So I ain't gonna lie to you. It wasn't a real sh uh, in between of what the after the breakup. Yeah. It was like Def Jam. You know, they couldn't forget they was kind of struggling, so they had to get stuff going anyway. Mm -hmm. So it was like again, the Red Man had, you know, had came. Mm -hmm. so, so that was Leo told the story. Reggie saved Def Jam at that part. Yeah. With that project. Reggie Nobles, a.k.a. Yeah. Red, Red Man, Man. Right. saved Def right. Jam. And then after a while, <laughs> thing happened again, and then DMX saved them. Like, they was always... DMX, know, DMX <laughs> saved Def, Def Jam. Jam. Right, so... Warren G. Uh, 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 saved <laughs> Def Jam. Okay. Yes, no. <laughs> so so, so at, at, at those points, so I really didn't have a really uh, 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 time off uh -huh. that quick. But mm. I think I have to answer the question, though, but I wasn't... Afraid of the moment, okay. Because of, of I, I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah, I, I knew that I could produce, I could make some records. The whole nine, and that people wouldn't be, they'll be upset, but they wouldn't be too, too mad because of the influence I had. Uh -huh. Not just on the group, but just production. Just production. Then, yeah, so right. early on, with the uh, first, who, who in majority of the production early on was that Parish doing it for EPMD? Well, well, the the first album was was definitely Parish. Okay, as far as um. People don't never look at that and say, you know, whatever. But we really didn't really have producers. Yeah. Um, we didn't produce. So we had an engineer that Charlie, what we got to give credit to because it was his stuff. So we just told him what uh, we wanted. Okay. So, so we didn't get equipment till 91. No shit. That's so, three so, years after the first album. After the after the the, 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 the first two, yes. Yeah, the first right. two. The yeah. first two. The first two was done in the studio. Like it, it was, it was us. But again, we didn't know how to work the machines, Harley. So mm. we had to um, tell him this is what we want to do. But we played the bass line and do everything uh -huh. else too. But as far as the actual sample machine, we didn't have one of those. I didn't have one of those. No. That's that. But that was that was often. I mean, that was common back then. It was a lot of engineers in the studio producing. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah. but again, we took the the producing thing. Uh huh. Not knowing that, a he's also the producer too. Yeah, that's the part that we that we that kind of left out. So uh, far as like on your customer, we both helped because it was the Lindrum. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we can do. Mm -hmm. The Lindrum doing, machine doing, yeah, sequencer. Yeah, yes. yeah, the first one before yeah. the, the first drum machine that they made Thriller on the on the on Lindrum. Mm -hmm. So that was the first whatever. Then when the second album came, that's when I stepped into play. It's, and this is what you're saying and stuff like okay. that. So, so this is me or what I evolved to watching what P was doing, what he was doing the whole nine, and P was doing MC Light, a couple other people. Mm -hmm. But I ended up doing Spellbound for solo. So I was still in my s s solo bag coming out. Okay, with K solo. Yeah, it, Spellbound. Right, right. But, but so, so then at the wild, then it was all me. Crossover, headbanger, mm -hmm. all of it was me. So, so people started seeing that, okay, well, thinking that all of it must have been Eric, but it wasn't. It was the beginning was was Pete, then then the both of us. Okay. But I started doing the the, the the single records was you know something I was doing. But again, you got to go back to Paris again because Gold Digger and Rampage is his. Yeah, you know, Gold so, Digger and Rampage. Gold yeah, Digger. Right, okay, so. I remember you told you. I, 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 if, if we go on the individual, I never did the individual because it was always EPMD. But yeah, I, I'm just giving the, um, the 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 flowers now to individually tell people to end the production while we was together. This record was done by such and such, yeah. not by me. Uh, but that's what I always wanted to know, right. you know. And in some of these conversations, I'll be transparent. These are things we've talked about in the '90s, mm. right? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. You know yeah. But it's, it's 
it wasn't heard. You know, right, like no. I, if I'm, I vaguely remember me and Tech were talking about this. How you said two, Tupac was influential in you producing as well. Did he say why you don't produce or something to that effect? Yeah, that was his whole thing was um about me being inside the group. Yeah. So inside the group is just the group. That's what he said. What he right. say? Inside the group is the group. So uh -huh. I'm never gonna get known. Not knowing the breakup was gonna take a place, uh -huh. but I'm never gonna be able to spread out and, and, and have multiple records and, and people know the 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 length of my production. Uh -huh. So that that was like, you know, something you wouldn't think about. Cause I didn't he said it, but I I brushed it off because I'm already I don't know what he means by that. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm in the group that's successful. We're making records, we stuff is going. I got Red Man, so so people we Dos effects is everybody platinum, we all chilling. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get the the part of me not being out there or being able to to, to be more spread on music. Mm -hmm. You know, just uh, something that I kept. Did he did he and I'm just thinking about did he compare it to his his stint with Digital Underground? I don't even know. Okay. I don't know where it came from, but that's again it's crazy that you know that because everybody don't don't know that thing, mm -hmm. Paul. Because I never talk about that. Because I want to be one of the people that too. Like, yo, me and Pac was tight. Boom, boom, boom. But the, yeah. I ain't do all that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's on you. You know what I'm saying? But again, at the end of the day, Pop used to be in the rim shop mm -hmm. in Atlanta, mm -hmm. behind the counter selling rims and like act like he was a, 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 a you like know, a clerk, a rim yeah. clerk. Yo, yo, so what, what you want? I didn't have a rim nowhere. The rim shop is such <laughs> the, the illest uh, mirage in the history. Is ridiculous. Um, my my window was yeah. phenomenal. It looked like major rims. I didn't have a screw, a nut, a tire, a rim, nowhere near that shop. <laughs> Everything came UPS next from Miami or came from California, but it was next day air. And my man Dave on the shop, down the block, had a shop. So, again, we just had the, the name of the front, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So whatever, but not one rim. Well, what was you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> No. 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 No, 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 we sold rims. Oh. We, 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 we just didn't have inventory. Uh oh, you didn't have no inventory. Okay. <laughs> e that sound real. I know it did. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. It sounded real cryptic. Even though, even though, every day, it was a guy in there with a ponytail. Didn't know it was Meech. And that was Meech. Yeah, every day. Because it's Detroit. Greg and them is, these are Detroit guys I'm in. I, Big I'm Meech. In Big Meech. Yeah. So the Detroit guys, Greg, <laughs> his brother Garvin's dead, Phil, Jay, all these Detroit boys. So of course they know each other. So I don't know that. Yeah. I don't know who that what is. I never I never was formally like introduced in the whole nine because the rumor was that his older brother Cliff, who just passed away, said that Milo, I don't know if you see in the video the dude that's um that you see BMF with and he's a dark skinned dude and he played by he's played by um um, oh, you talking about in uh, uh, um and BMF, BMF, yeah. BMF, yeah. BMF yeah. Um, he, played, stars. he played by Wood. Oh, Wood, uh, Wood, uh, Wood, Wood Harris. Harris, Wood Harris. Yeah, Wood yeah. Harris was playing that yeah. part. Yeah. Well, that real guy name is Patrick. Uh huh. Patrick used to be a promoter. He used to fly all of us in. That's a real character. He he was a drug <laughs> dealer nigga too, but he also was a guy who who like they said had the money to promote. So he brought me Cuban, the whole nine, everybody would, that came in. But he said that Eric Sermon was off limits. Mm. He said that. That guy did that whole album by himself, talking about me. That uh -huh. kid's gonna be somebody. He said a long time ago. The No Pressure character. album, or which album was he? No, talking? EPMD. Oh, the EPMD album. He just okay. said because he was booked. He's like, yo, yeah. th th that guy gonna be something when he get older. I, I like that kid. So he gave you a pass. He, no, no, he, he just he just he just befriended me. Okay. But, but but he told them, not me even knowing my whole life. I found out years later. Leave him alone. Because I was wondering why the money was getting passed around to everybody that was gone. Blue Da Vinci, Jesus, everybody was making. I'm like, damn, I'm a producer. Nobody come to me to get no beats. <laughs> so like, There's tons of money flowing around. Yeah. None of it. It was already, somebody had already said, though, he's off limits. Oh, okay. I thought you meant he's off limits. No. Like don't rob protection. him. Protection. Yeah, yeah, for protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you yeah. meant you off limits. They can't well, work. They can, no, no, don't put nothing around him. He don't deserve that, and don't even put him. That's it was a off limits. He's not to be in part of none of it. Wow! And you were right there in the yep. in the height of it. The height of it. Well, we're watching <laughs> on BMF stars. Is, BMF mm -hmm. is coming back soon so in when, a couple weeks. Yeah, and you see somebody a character like an extra in the background. Yeah, that's Eric Sermon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's Eric Sermon. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Sermon. Wow! Wow, man, uh, this is amazing. Eric Sermon is here. I wonder, um, 
talk about salt and pepper. Yes. One of my all time, and I, I they, you know, it, it, I don't blame the culture when it, well, kind of, um, when they don't mention people, you know, uh -huh. uh, and the, the, the blame is, I don't like the word blame, but I want to encourage people to look beyond the trees and search through the forest of our history. And when you learn about somebody like Salt and Pepper, you may not realize why they're so huge or what, what, what their marks may be. Do the research. Find out the kind of accolades they received as a, a women's hip-hop group at a time when that just simply didn't happen. The kind of messaging they they use, none of, none of your business, or uh, let's talk about sex, or the kind of topics that they hit on was being done at a time that nobody was doing it because nobody thought it would become mainstream. Right. Nobody thought you could get the radio play that we mm -hmm. needed at that time or the video play, not to mention salt and pepper or hyenas. Hyenas. Yes. Right? Um, what made you, why did you work with them on this project? Is it something you wanted the world to know? Yeah, I mean, that that whole thing, those ways, like, it was just the culture at first, but definitely even to think about getting salt and pepper. Yeah. Because what you just said, it's, it's more than that. This ain't just the biggest female rap group. Yeah. It's the biggest group in the world, you know, that we've seen, mm -hmm. you know. And um, I just want them to, 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 to say, okay, of course, I could have had all men. Mm -hmm. Another thing, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, where's the females at? Mm -hmm. In my head, I'm saying, got to get some girls on this on this album. They're going to. You know, they can't do that. So nice. they, was, they was the first ones that I thought about. As far as the duo, yeah. there are that many female duos. You got Conscious Daughters, the whole number. You know mm -hmm. that everybody, yeah. that people are hearing that, the situation. But, you know, and I talked to her, too, on the, on the DM. Okay. And and, and, and I was trying to put, and I was like, okay, well, J.J. Fag got three people. I, I got to keep, the, you know what I'm saying? So I had to find, besides making two people up, for that's a sequence. I can go on with the project, but those two were the two. Salt so and one DMC. Uh-huh. And these and them got to be on this project. Yeah, you know, so that was main thing. So when you get the phone call, of course nobody wants to do it because um, they don't want to take a chance to come out. Uh huh. Because, because of the current state of the market. Because that phone and that blog. This. Did, did, did that right there come back and you have to hear about that negativity or read about that negativity? Not saying that they was worried about that, but a lot of people who I work with or people who don't come out in my era is because of that part. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm they, not. They, 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 what Andre three thousand not say? What he I, said I think, about flute? Or why, mm. he, why he doesn't want to rap? Yeah, but the son said something about not being cool. Somebody said it was it was not cool to do with somebody. I don't know. It was a fan member? Mm -hmm. It was something I heard that somebody has said that to him. Is it's not cool at this at this age? The age you at? So now that because I, I feel that ageism in hip hop is in the biggest battle it's been in and ever forever mm -hmm. because we're I think it existed because hip hop never got wasn't ever considered old at the time right. it was new we just predicted or that it might you know we we just put that on ourselves I think that was uh, us following the the ways of the music business and then we could take it down a deeper road of the mm -hmm. way of society mm -hmm. you know when it comes to ageism and separating people but when you got somebody like killer mike what is he 48 yeah, 48. Yeah. 48 years old sweeping the grammys right. can we get rid of ageism but we got, well, we yeah. got nas putting out six albums yeah. and however many i know can we get rid of that when we got jay-z yeah. can we get rid he of coming that back to and he coming back we got right. kanye just kanye released for, a, 40, you know, 46 yeah 46 yep. no vultures joint with yep. can we get rid of ageism yep. like i mean yep. can we stop being fearful of doing what we do naturally so, so wait, you've been doing this movement and talking this way forever yeah you know, our people are just something else, man. Mm -hmm. And thing that too, like I look at them and like, if they icon come out, it'd be like Cher, Madonna, speak about it all the time. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, if if it's Bruce Springsteen, if if it's if it's if it's Mick Jagger, if it's Paul, McCoy, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have the stick. Listen, I'm with the old school slings too. Yeah. But you don't got to say old school Madonna, mm -hmm. old school. They don't have that title attachment. So mm -hmm. again. And our subconscious, we don't know. You're like, oh, sweat, you still doing radio? Yeah. Oh, yo, are, are you still rap? Are you still producing? Why do it got to be you still? Mm -hmm. Like, the, that, that's something that, again, the the, the small little, the, the subtle thing to, 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 to put it low here because I'm still doing me, but you might not like that and you asking me. Like, I tell, I'm going to say this one thing about the, the, the colleagues of mine. So when you talk about Rakim, Kane, and 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 Light, and and um and Chaos One and people like that, on a minimum, 
right? They do 100 shows a year on the minimum, right? 100 shows yeah. a year. On the yeah, minimum. On the minimum, on the minimum right? Yeah. You got um, Dougie who's two two hundred and something. Two, two, Dougie yeah, up yeah, at two thirty five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got you got you got Chris at eighty. People like that, or uh, um, depends on who. Rock comes at one fifty. It's, it's a bunch of people too, but so it's, it's a bunch of us, right? Now, I'm only going to go at ten thousand dollars a night. I know it ain't that, but mm-hmm. I'm going to give you this to, so you can add the numbers up again. Yeah. yeah. So one hundred times ten mm-hmm. is one million dollars. I don't know a surgeon. No doctor, no lawyer, no nobody that's making a million dollars a year. I don't give a after taxes if it's six hundred grand. You name me someone. So stop saying to our era, what are you doing now? Mm. There you go, Eric Sermon, man. Let's oh, play that new song. It's called Back to the Party. That's what we doing, Mike Muse. We going back to the party. Amazing. Eric Sermon, back to the party. Featuring Salt and Pepper. This is the first single off the album coming later. It's called Dynamic Duel. It feels yeah. good. That's some feel good music right there, E. Yeah, it's a it's a purpose of um I I went to a, a, a with Ryan. I went to you know do my runs in L.A. Yeah. I went to a Warner party and I walked in. There was like eight girls and they were just sitting down there with their phones up, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. DJ playing the dopest shit. Period. Looked on the other side, the dudes was swagging each other, you know, yeah. like looking at whatever like that. No guys conversing with girls, girls conversing with guys. There was no none of that talking. There was no partying. There was no nothing. Like this is even though it might be fun, if you say this is fun for you, I get it. But if if you would converse, I mean, I mean, converse with somebody mm-hmm. and do that, you don't know how much fun you will have. Yeah. If you do this, if you do some talking or some like, you know, whatever, and really having fun, and then maybe do a couple of uh, little steps or something yeah. to let the floor <laughs> get on with yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> One hour, if, if you can. Yeah. So that part is where back to the party, too, also got to meet in the two. Like, let me show you what this can be like and see the next night. Did you say, oh, man, I really had a dope time last night? Yeah. Yeah. We just said he just did that. Went through that. We had a Sunday Super Bowl party. Kalani, oh yeah, Commissioner's Gordon's son and oh. Suzette Williams' son. Wow, wow, yeah. right? I know. And he's twenty one, and he was talking about the difference of how we party <laughs> and how they party. Yes, right? you know, y'all don't dance, huh? Nah, it's a whole bunch of bumping and grinding. It's, <laughs> it's nothing. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. It's not fun. Yeah. Or staring at your phones, like you yeah. said. Yeah. Man, okay, Eric Sermon here. Tracy, you want to jump in? Yeah, absolutely. So good to hear from you, E. So good to have you here. Uh, When Sway was talking about how your passion, it has been not even just consistent, but it's been on the incline as you continue with your journey here, it makes me wonder, is it easier for you to create now versus when you were just starting. And the reason why I I even ask that Mm -hmm. is because sometimes when people are used to you producing a certain quality of work, for some folks it can be now daunting because there's an expectation versus when you're an underdog and no one knows who the hell you are. So it's like, let me just experiment and throw whatever out. Um, So how does it feel for you? Is it easier or is there a sense of pressure? This is something that, again, I probably would have been humble, man, years ago. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't talking back then. Yeah, he wasn't talking to shit I, I, now. I, I'm him now. Yeah, that's I'm true. him. He's I'm really him. him. <laughs> Eric Sermon is him. Yeah, no, but 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 on the serious tip, I was I had got it from a part when I was um I was, I was with Ye in 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 L.A. first, and he was like, "Here's my person that's doing my clothes. Here's the person that's doing my building. Here's the person that, that that's doing my um the architect for this for these." Um, shoes, and he says, okay, and y'all are back here. He says, everybody here and here is geniuses. That's why you here. Mm. So I didn't look at that myself mm. because, again, I've always been humble my whole entire life. I never said nothing. That's why, you know, I never, never got the accolades of what they called accolades because, again, again, we didn't have social media, and I wasn't the one that was vocal. But at the end of the day, I, I just feel like, I don't have that part no more as far as worrying about somebody. When I was in the label and making records for them, maybe I did. But now independent and seeing the lane, I don't worry about nothing out here. Mm. You know, because it's not it's not something for me to go chase. I'm not chasing that. Right. I'm trying to chase real music and signing talent. Like right now, my whole thing, there's a big announcement getting ready to come. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's, Like right now in the next second? No, I, I can't even get <laughs> oh, okay. I, wanna, I, wanna, oh. I, I tell you off the air, whatever. Okay. okay. And... <laughs> And we don't want to hear about no likes, no algorithms, no nothing. 
nigga, can you sing? Can you rap? Do you have talent? And that's where it was going back to. That's why Jermaine Dupri and Brian Cox and them and John Taylor's over there making that money um, long song and making R&B music, and they got signed to create, to bring that to, because, again, the, 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 the shift has happened, G, and people are looking at the still it was in front of them. No, kids changed. I had ratchet children. <laughs> and, 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 and then <laughs> I, I woke up and, and their vibe changed. Mm. Yeah. They started playing other records. And I'm like, you what happened? And then you see people like Lil Yachty and them too making this Yo, whole adjustments. Man, people, shout out to get that yeah. man around. Yeah, Lil yeah. Yachty, shit. So people, I'm just giving yeah, a man. couple of names, yeah. but that's people, whatever. Yo, I'm looking at my, my phone and, and this young blue. Yeah. Right? And, and yeah. I'm like, yo, yo, what's up? He's like, yo, uncle, it's time for us to start creating. And I'm like, yo, again, looking at two, because I know that, you know, young Berg, because I mm -hmm. had Berg first Hitmaker, before yeah. he was him, Hitmaker yeah. wow. mm -hmm. in the beginning. So at the end of the day, it's like. Now, people don't know that, though. No. Say that again, E. How did you meet Hitmaker? Yeah. Young yeah, Berg. Yeah, he, he, he lived with me for six months. He he was an artist <laughs> that I was trying to get on. And um and, and we all um, chilled at the crib. Like, I had him, um the, the guy, Junior, that he came with, um whatever, I had Victor Moans. Um, um uh, his father, Grandmaster Vic. I had his son, mm -hmm. so I had, and I had this kid named Trey from D.C. So I was putting this package together for a shop at Universal. Mm -hmm. Wow! And 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 when I tell you that every night for 18 hours, Berg was in the studio. He did not come out. Sometimes people couldn't even get in, you know. And I was doing Keith Murray at the time too. Oh. And, and Keith was like, "Yo, listen, like you know, it was, yo, it was, it was crazy." So, so, but 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 again, that was a situation. But that kid reminds me of 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 Hitmaker. Yeah, the young blue kid. Uh -huh. Even though he had success in the beginning, but he's still um, still doing his thing and, and, and writing songs and, and the producer. But again, I'm just putting that in the fact that my whole thing had came to a circle to where I'm here now. So even if you don't know who these people are, yeah, does the record make you feel good? So yeah. that's what I'm saying. So eventually, of course, you, people gonna know Salt and Pepper, they know whatever. But if you don't know these people, this stuff it makes it, it still gets you because don't forget they're sampling all the stuff too. Exactly. That sounds like that. Yeah. Or, or, or you know, whatever the stuff feels good. Because mm -hmm. that, again, like I said for you, if you listen to that, the shift is changing and the temperature. It might not be full of steam, but it's there. Mm -hmm. And that shift, that's, we call it an awakening. <laughs> I think the whole planet going through that right now. Yes. yes it's an awakening yeah. happening. And, and some people tap in and some people be walking around oblivious and not even know yeah. what's happening around I wouldn't, them. You think that... Kevin Lyles was just in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kevin Lyles came up. CEO of right, 300 right, right, Again, yeah. the, yeah. he, he was just with Honcho and 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 and, and gunning them. Yeah, and these people. And he's over here with, with the O head. Mm -hmm. Like a, so, so if if he's it's it's, it's a space, and if you don't want to do it, I'm going to back to get them. So oh, you don't know who Cypress Hills is? Okay, I'm gonna let you know who they are again. Yeah, mm. you don't know who Mob Deep is. Here's Mob Deep. Mm -hmm. You don't know who MOP is? Here's MOP too. You remember the Dog Pound? Yeah. Here's the Dog Pound too. Oh, you know who Tupac and Biggie Smalls is too. I got one of them too. Mm -hmm. Here, take that too. You want to know EPMD? You know Red and Meth coming, Salt and Pepper coming, boom. Then if you don't like all that, I got 8 Ball MJG. You don't like that? I got UGK. So you, you, I'm loaded. Like these people, I'm not here to, to play with people, but you can't tell me that these boys is over and that that we don't exist. I'm still here. Yeah. So you, I can make records for my for the people that's here, and then the, y'all making people for y'all making um music for that that age. We don't have to be forced to do that. But I understand that my colleagues don't believe that it's possible. Yeah. So I made it possible. Mm. Eric Sermon. Wow. He's him, Michael. Wow. Yeah. Really him. <laughs> him. <laughs> talk your talk, shit. Eric. Wow. I'm tired of sugarcoating shit. Well, <laughs> no, no, you, you don't sugarcoat. Well, you know, but I, I, I'm very good at getting folks to say yeah. what I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and again, again, like somebody like like Little Wayne. Yeah. The fastest one to come back with the with the verse. Yeah, was like he? the next two days. Boom! I'm like, look at this stupid big star. Yeah. But again, respect the culture, mm -hmm. respect the idea, and then you know, the game I already knew from the beginning. So I was like, yo, so let me try to see if um, would these two work? Because they did it before. So let uh -huh. me see. Let me put. It, let me see my version of those two. So game that's why I got and, uh, and Wayne. Wayne. Mm -hmm. Woof. Mike, go ahead, man. Jump in there before we we lose them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of just want to just tap into where 
where you are right now at the point in the conversation about you said something really interesting about we don't have to rap about what they're rapping about that younger generation I, mm. i'm curious because we haven't seen hip-hop grow and i'm excited to see hip-hop grow so what happens and what what are you discussing what are you rapping about right now so i think that is a yeah, challenge yeah. that I'm, a lot of people I, are I, feeling do they I'm, try and catch the young or do they right. try and, and talk about their lived experience right but the young will catch it that's why they they or sampling and stuff, or, or knowing who the acts are now. Mm -hmm. See, we only give them what they are the program to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, this is don't forget we program. So at the end of the day, if you give them something, that they're gonna mess with it. Like that's why you the kids only gonna be ratchet because you give them the, ratchet. They're gonna they children. They take what it's gonna be. So, but me, as far as the um the the, the content, mm -hmm. I just want the content to be like it was. You can have some fun, Joski love, mm -hmm. and, and and Luke and them. Mm -hmm. You know, with, we can do all that too. But we have all of this and none of that. So I'm trying to put the that back into play. As far as can you give us a preview? Like, what is the content? Like, what are the subject the, the, matters? The content is like what again, you, whatever. What the, the chorus matches the vocals. That means if, if I say that that that, 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 that I'm 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 saying that I, I got a girlfriend and she has red hair. I, I want to hear the red hair inside the inside the the two paragraphs. You know, that's the, the content. But the records. They made sense, and don't matter what it was, that, 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 it makes sense. But again, the soul part of the music is what's missing. That's the part I'm trying to put back into it. Like you, they have moments. These are moment records that's happening. Yeah, it, 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 it don't make you feel it. So when you hear the beat come on, you're like, ooh, like that. Yeah. that's not happening. This is just the moment of children. So, but if that part is put back into play, so whatever, and then again, the talent. Like I stuff that I'm gonna talk this way a lot. I, I'm trying to miss nobody. I, that's true. Producers, singers, and rappers that are really, really have it. Because no matter what, at the end of the day, that person will be able to work. There's no disrespect again. The, if you knew people don't make records, how people work before me, like the, the old groups, yeah. and then the, uh, the R&B groups are still working, and then you got Sugar Hill Gang, then you got Stuff After Us, and then all the other ones that come after me, they able to work. Can you imagine that to still be able to work for 35 years yeah. in a profession you like? Yeah. But you won't be able to. Because when you turn this age, <laughs> nobody's going to want to hear F, this, this, all this. It, don't, it won't make sense to a yeah. woman who's grown, yeah. who has a job, who's in church, who got children. Uh -huh. It don't match for them to come see you. That mind stayed in there. Yeah. You didn't make any music. So if you didn't save or got a ton of money that you got from whatever, you in trouble mm -hmm. because you're not going to be able to work. And I want you to understand that part. I know it might sound like, well, no, you, I'm being hard, but do you Im imagine this is a job that all my colleagues in the 50 cents and the, the Beyonce's and all these groups that said people are, 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 are veterans or call old, these are the only tours that's working. The uh, consistently, consistently is the in the, in the hip hop. All these other ones consistently. All all the new groups need twelve of them to be in one place to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Possibility. Mm -hmm. it's the same thing that happened at Giant Stadium. Yeah. I can't feel that. And now I'm in the, the the UBS, whatever, with nine thousand people mm -hmm. from fifty to nine. Yeah, Come I gotta on. put them. It's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. Get this game, Eric Sermon. He's him. <laughs> he's, he's him. No, I got it. 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 I already got it, man. Don't worry about it. You ain't got to say it again. He's him. Drippy Dre, what you want to say to Eric Sermon? What up, Dick? Tab, man. Yo, Eric Sermon, Peace King. You are the moral fabric of music that I grew up to, being from Central Islip. Brothers oh, from Brentwood, Long know, Island. Y'all set, set the fucking tone. See how? Let's go. <laughs> Y'all set the tone. Yeah, so it yeah. was like I seen Keith Murray from the Montero to the Lexus. I seen the progression. I yes, seen. Yo, I got yo, all yo, the yo. underground tapes. Yo, I got the he demo know. tapes. Yeah, I'm said, 89.9, uh, baby. Uh, listen, we real uh, hip hop. We grew uh, up like fiending for. Uh, we hold found up, it. Drake, Drake, let me said, yeah. Keith Murray had had a great Montero Jeep, and that was a Jeep that he hustled with. And that what I mean. Uh -huh. So he's from Call Nap. He, yeah, he knows those. Okay. Knows, yeah. What's your question, Drippy yeah. Dre? I want to say, being listening to the music and the production and the things that I heard that didn't come out and the amounts of music that you made, who are the producers that you would love to work with? Who are the R and B artists that you to work with? And who's the mega soup rap superstar that you want to work with? Um the the work well, I worked with the producer was Dr. Dre, I want to see how how it was, and I ended up doing five records um, with with him. How was it? It was the 
dopest experience because I, I, the one record that I, that I rapped with him, yeah. I had him show me the cadence, and then the room, there's no writing. Uh huh. The room says what his cadence is, and then we say it out loud, and then niggas be like, "That's the dope, that's the dope line." Then we lay it until the 16 is done. I'd never seen that in my life, never experienced nothing, nothing like that in my life, and it was the illest shit I ever seen in my life of having the collective of people sit there and be like, and then we, we put lines to each other until something until we agree on it, and then that goes on that goes on the, on the um, laid down pro tools until the song is done. It, y'all punched in every other line. It, it, each each each, each bar. bar. Each bar you punched in each bar. Yes. Or, or unless unless you had two bars that went that you yeah, went together, said, went together yep. with the case, you did it too. But mostly that's how the record's laid down like that. No writing. Everything's in the head from people. The oh dopest shit. I, I would and making not want to do this writing no more and then record regular. The mm-hmm. way that that shit went down because no matter what though, too, this way it wasn't that it could come out whack. Like for some reason it was like, I spit. He said, "Okay, listen, use this to what you're saying, voice. This is first him too, mm-hmm. too, whatever." And he says, "Okay, now." I said, well, I can't say it like that, Dre, because I have a lisp. He said, yes, yeah, say what you want to say, but just say it slower so it, it'll fit. I'm like, it ain't going to fit. It's going to be dragging. I never did it in my lifetime. He was correct. I said the rhyme slower and it fit in the sentence. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I think the interview just ended right there with that story. He's him. Wow. I told you he's him. <laughs> Drippy, thanks for your question, man. You good? Yeah, All right, peace. All right, say peace, man. Big Bear J, go ahead. And Big DJ Bear. Diamond, go ahead. Bear. Yo, Bear, you there? What's good? Yeah, what's good? What's your question for Eric Sherman? Go ahead, real quick. My question for Eric Sherman, I got somebody on the line want to talk to you. Well, go ahead, Diamond, talk. Go ahead. Oh, this is crazy, yo. Yeah, DJ Diamond. <laughs> well, you crazy, yo, it's your boy Diamond, the artist, man. I know you are, Diamond. Hey, hey Jay, what, what are you doing on the phone, Jay? <laughs> this my I'm Alex Sherman's DJ. I know, what the I fuck's know, going on? Oh, oh, man, Jay, why are you <laughs> acting like this, man? Dang, Jay. <laughs> Diamond, what you gonna That's ask? Crazy, you already man. asked him. Go ahead, man. Nah, man, yo, yo, yo. The only question I want to ask is like real talk. Is like, yo, how at this point in the game do you still be inspired to make great music? I know I've asked you this in private. I know. But I want you to tell the people. Like we, yeah, well, definitely like I said for man. Um I, I just know that I like this I like this thing called music. You know, <laughs> but I, I think that you know um being a being able to create is dope, but I also knew that um people want to hear something else. Yeah. And that's all. Hey, yeah. fellas, I love you. Big Bear J, man, salute Back. to you, man, Back. for the work you done put in. DJ Diamond, same yeah. with you. You both are citizens. The mixtape, yeah, okay, yes, yeah. yes. E, I want to, um, you got to keep coming up, man. Please. Yes. No, 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 listen, this place, every time I have a project, I've come. Yeah. Okay. I know, I was like, it doesn't, this is a, this confirms my situation when I come over here because I just the support first. Yes. Mm-hmm. So no matter what, the project is gonna be supported. Of course, your show is big, so I got the listeners. <laughs> so then it gets out there. So yeah. it stops a lot of uh, mm. of me um, doing so much groundwork as yeah. an independent. Because again, I just didn't feel like that part not having the reps. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. ain't like a simple thing to be yeah. going and be like, yo, to go book something or get somebody to come and you know, no matter who you are, yeah. people respect you from afar. Yeah. But they want to sit down with you. They don't you know want to sit mean? down. That's so, the most so, interesting yeah. thing, wow. man. Eric Sermon, you are an amazing human being. You have an incredible spirit, my brother. Thank you. Uh, you, you have total resilience. I've seen your career, not just what we see on the camera, but what you've been through in your personal life as well. We've shared a lot of conversations. Uh, so, oh, no, no. The, Sway was there from the heart attack because yeah. I made sure that he hit first the whole nine. Like I said, for my mom's passed away eight months ago. Yeah. That was my best friend, but I came out mm. of rehab. Before that, yeah, or, or for the or, or for the Percocets, I was on those for, pills for fifteen years. For fifteen, wow. what started it? Was it a condition or uh, the back surgery? The did. back surgery, and, and it was one hundred and twenty pills. So again, you don't look at it at the time, but the first accident was two thousand one. That's when I first knew what Vicodin was, but didn't know what it was. So that that wasn't what it what happened. The two thousand eight happened. Uh-huh. The back surgery happened, mm-hmm. and the one twenty that they give you is this is this high. One hundred and twenty pills. You don't think you're going to get it? That's what they that's what they gave. You know, and 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 they don't they don't tell you later on about 
like after the six, seven days of the addiction. So after a while, I just kept popping pills and kept popping pills. So I was coming from five to the sevens and seven to the tens. Mm. I was on tens for years. Then I went to the to the fifteens, the mm. green ones. Yeah. By the time 2022 came, I was on the blue pills. Now these threes are twenty-five dollars a piece. So I saw myself spending eight thousand dollars a month mm. after the for the 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 last two years, cause I, cause I, I, I put ten thousand dollars in my drawer with a rubber band on it, mm-hmm. just to put in the drawer. So the kids, they want something to go upstairs to the room, and there's money in the drawer. They didn't come up and get no, no, no money from it. But when I went in the drawer again, sway, it was only a hundred dollar bill wrapped in the, in the rubber band. That means I already was already doing it, and but it was a twenty day. I can't even say a month. It probably was a twenty three day month of 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 eight thousand dollars for the for two years straight. And when I got the rehab, they said, oh, you do fentanyl too, don't you? Mm. And I'm like, no, I don't. But the press pills on the street was lace. So I was already blessed from not me not dying, but I was doing fentanyl because the press pills off the street is what I was taking the last two years. Mm. What, what do you want to say to those who, who might be in that loop of pills? Well, they know it's a disaster. It's like... It's like it controls your life. It wakes you up, puts you to sleep. It makes you. It, it, it controls you. Mm-hmm. It don't. And then you you're counting the whole time. Yeah. You know, it's about you know before you even finish that, you always think about the re-up. Is any any other thing? Don't forget, it's synthetic heroin, so it has the same same effect, just not that fast. You just have to wait for the release time. But it's 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 the heroin inside the pill that makes you the addiction comes, and that's when the again the whole time that. People, when you hear, I just saw Bow Wow with a lean. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, no, but, yeah. but but Meek Mill, fucking Timberland, all of mm. them got these same stories. For some reason, that that that, that perk hit different, and it do for the the euphoria you get. This is amazing. I'll be high as a kite, you yeah. know, at one time. Then I towards the end, now I'm spending money not getting the feeling because now the tolerance is gone. Mm. So now all you're trying to do is not get withdrawals. Cause that part come through the shakes the whole night, so you have to wait for that. And then I tell anybody that's that's is doing it now, you can't talk to an addict and get him to go to rehab or her. It's never gonna happen. They mind have to be made up for them to go in. So don't. So everybody needs that. We learned that in there. You have to stop trying to tell somebody to do that. It ain't gonna happen unless they make it happen. And even if you put them in, they they leaving because you can check out. So. That's what, the whole what, thing. What do, what, do, what do you suggest? Like, how do you support an addict then? And yo, what, what do you would suggest to support an addict? Yeah, you, you, nothing you can do because cause they're gonna lie. A lie. That's what you you don't you don't want to stop. So you you can talk to you blue in the face. They still gonna have that. Yes, yeah, you right. So you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. After that, yeah. As soon as that, them hours kicking and stuff ain't right. They going back in. Their mind got to be made up. For them, not nobody. You see interventions? Yeah. Shit don't work. That's the niggas be talking all that don't work. Your mind got to be made up. So when, when, before my mom died, she said, Eric, you look tired. And I'm like, yeah, ma, I am tired. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, you look tired, tired. She knew uh, or, already, uh-huh. you know, from just what, because after a while, now you in the street. Yeah. So the street, you, you got some people who might not be talking, but somebody also want to put you on blast too. Yeah, they're gonna put so, your peers out. So, so, so it 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 got to her. So she started, you know, wondering that question. So you done lying. You just lie, 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 lie until the part catch up with you. Yeah. And she was the one that said, "You try to say, you know what? When I get home, I'm going because I was in Atlanta. Uh-huh. So I went home, checked to the side that that Thursday, I, I went upstate. I'm proud of you, Eric. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I'm proud of you, brother. You doing all right now? Oh yeah, it's been um, let's see, um, one year and well, no, let me see. I got out June 2022. Yeah, 22. so almost two years. Right, yeah. almost two years. Yeah, yep. almost two years. Wow. Thank you for that. Yes. yes. I appreciate you. Now Thank the you. people gotta because yeah. people going through it. I gotta yeah. be able to say, man, you gotta. This life, you don't want that life, homie. You don't because, want because, it. Because I wake up now, I'll be like, swear in one of them times, like, damn, it's only seven. <laughs> and I got to go, because I got to go through these eyes. Yeah. Don't forget, you 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 medicated the whole time. Yeah. 15 years. You dealing with life like this, like 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 you seeing it. Yeah. I'm like, this, this time, I'm going to get this time up. So that's why you start programming and shit. You start, you start working. You know, stay home. You know, yeah. you got to start working, you know. That's what makes you him. 
Mm. That's what makes you him. It's not just the hits. It's not just all the artists who careers you built. It's not just the, the the mark you've made in this culture and how it's inspired people like my partner Tech and I and right. thousands over the years. But the fact that you could face these adversities, share these adversities, and we learn that way too. Not mm. just through the hooks on the songs, but through the hooks in our life. Yes. So that's what makes no you doubt. him. Eric Sermon, get this man a round Let's of go. applause. Wow. The Dynamic Duo is the album coming out later this year. Back to the party. I need everybody. There's a lot of people on these lines. Uh, Joe in New York, uh, uh, a DJ in North Carolina, Jay in Charlotte, all Peace these folks. DJ Instrumental. Hit, DJ Instrumental. Hit up Eric Sermon at Eric with a K underscore S-E-R-M-O-N. Yes. E, thank you, brother. Thank you. All yes. right, all right.